In the field of digital character creation, I think no other software comes close to the popularity of MetaHuman, which is an exciting and an innovative tool that quickly set a name for itself in the industry as a major player. But let me ask you, do you remember a few years back when Unity dropped a jaw-breaking video of a CG character introducing their acquisition of Ziva Dynamics? It was a decision that was met with a lot of enthusiasm, with many anticipating an epic character creation showdown between the gaming giants, but let's just say that didn't go as expected. So which one is really better, and what is the secret behind the noise around Ziva Dynamics recently? Before we continue, if you are a beginner 3D artist, or if you have been doing 3D art for a while now, and you don't know how to monetize your 3D skills, you are not alone. Because as a 3D artist myself, I have struggled with this for a long time. That's why I'm happy to announce that we created a class outlining some of the best ways to monetize your 3D skills. In this class, I'm gonna share with you 5 methods that will help you make a living from your 3D art, at least the foundation of it. The class is now on Skillshare, and I will appreciate it a ton if you want to check it out. We will go through some obvious but overlooked stuff, and of course, some common practices. And whether you are a beginner or a seasoned 3D artist, I'm sure you will find useful things. Please check out the class and help support the channel. Also, the first 100 people to sign up using our code will get a month-long free subscription of Skillshare. First of all, from one side we have the MetaHuman Creator, which is a tool that is brought to us by Epic Games, as a way to design highly realistic human digital characters and use them in games, films, and virtually anything else we can imagine. It was created by a team of developers and engineers led by Vladimir Mastilovich, the Vice President of Digital Tech at Epic Games. He's also the owner of 3Lateral, one of the strategic tech acquisitions that Epic Games made back in 2019 to work on the mind-blowing release of the MetaHuman Creator tool in 2021. On the other side, we have Ziva VFX, a software that was born from the creative minds of Ziva Dynamics, a company that was founded in 2015 by James Jacob, an Academy Award winner for his contribution to the development of the Tissue Physically Based Character Simulation Framework, and the TR35 winner Dr. Jernay Barbic, a professor at the University of Southern California. So in a nutshell, it is a software that is used for the creation of realistic and physically accurate character simulations such as soft tissue materials like muscles, fat, and skin. It used to be actually one of the leading software in VFX and it is still the case to a certain extent, until Unity jumped into the scene and acquired the company in 2022 to make Ziva's lineup of tools publicly available for all game developers and VFX artists. Now, with each one of them being at the hands of two historical rivals, people quickly started drawing comparisons, despite their differences, but why is that the case? To be fair, both of these tools are versatile and can be used in many ways. But as a general idea, the MetaHuman Creator is an easy to use and cloud-based character creation tool that gives us the power to create highly realistic characters with a great deal of detail. As a starting point, you can begin by selecting one of the MetaHuman preset characters, then you can choose a series of additional MetaHumans to blend their details with your character and create almost infinite variations of facial details. Plus, it is also packed with additional settings for refining the character, such as easy sculpting tools and control guides, as well as customization options for the other areas, such as the hair, body proportions, eyes, and so on. The tool also comes with a series of animation tools, which we'll get into in just a second. But when it comes to Ziva, it's a bit more complicated because it is split into different pieces of software. However, the first that comes to mind is Ziva VFX, the main software of the lineup, and it is a technology where artists have to model or sculpt characters from the ground up, 
But what does that mean you may ask? First, they start by making the bones, then the fascia, fat, skin, and so on. And from there, the tool takes the skeleton's movements as a starting point. And it goes on to simulate the rest of the body, based on the laws of physics, to get everything moving just like they would in real life, thanks to Isfam Solver, or what is known as finite element method. Well, it is much more complex than that, but you get the idea. The tool is also equipped with a series of tools to support this workflow, such as ways to attach objects to bones or add tissue properties, like a material layer or muscle fiber. But to be honest, this is just a simplification, so I think this made it clear. Once a metahuman is imported into Unreal Engine, there are three ways to animate them. We can load any pre-made custom animation, manually animate them, or with performance capture, a technique in which the movements and facial expressions of live actors are tracked, recorded, and transferred to the digital characters. Right off the gate, we can see how all of these are much easier to animate compared to Ziva. However, in terms of quality, Ziva is still way ahead. You see, MetaHuman takes advantage of the typical bones and rig animations that we are used to, without taking into consideration any physical interaction with the tissue, in addition to the muscles and so on, or using any complex solver. Another area worth mentioning is facial animation. Ziva has the Ziva Face Trainer, a cloud-based rigging service for games and real-time work that is based on machine learning and was built on a 15 terabyte library of 4D scan data, whereas MetaHuman has its own 4D solver to combine video and depth data together, with a MetaHuman representation of the former, to capture subtle expressions, looks, and emotions accurately, but which one actually is better? Well, I think this is where we will get into the subjective territory, without exactly a clear winner, as it differs from one person to another, but personally, I feel like MetaHuman has an edge here due to the subtle secondary motion it produces, but let us know which one you prefer in the comment section down below. With differences and similarities like this, both of them can be used for many tasks across many industries. However, with Ziva being a more sophisticated and specialized tool and a higher-end animation system, it was used more for the likes of VFX productions such as Venom, Godzilla vs. Kong, and Aquaman just to name a few. Because you see, for these types of productions, all they care about is the quality and the final result. So, they don't mind making characters from scratch to take advantage of the physical-based animation of Ziva, besides, it gives them further control and can be used on any type of character and not just humans, while it could still be used for any real-time purpose. As for MetaHuman, since it is also a character creation tool and an easier tool let's just say, it feels like it is used in anything computer graphics related, to create and animate characters from A to Z such as real-time experiences, video games, YouTube videos, and so on. But why MetaHuman is more popular than Ziva? As you can see, from a technical perspective, although they are different in nature, Ziva has nothing on MetaHuman. In fact, I can even see a world where they could complement each other beautifully by combining them to create a great workflow. Yet. While MetaHuman has been quickly climbing the ladder of the mainstream, Ziva on the other hand has been more of a sinking ship ever since Unity took over. Now, I don't have any insider info, but if we read between the lines, Ziva was at the time part of a big VFX buying spree that Unity went for, and I would guess it was either to step up their game in the VFX industry or as a counterattack to the sudden rise of Unreal Engine 5 and MetaHuman, or maybe both. However, Eventually, it seemed like Unity dropped the ball with Ziva and didn't know what to do with it. First, they put it behind a pricey paywall that most users can't afford, and the marketing also was lackluster, to the point where a lot of us forgot it even existed. On the other hand, we have the free and well-promoted MetaHuman, with big advertisements such as The Matrix Awakens and in the Unreal Engine experience, 
Besides, it felt like there was always some new drama with the company, I mean Unity, and its higher ups, which made it, if anything, a bad environment for Ziva to thrive in. And if you want to know why Ziva is no longer available to the public because of what Unity did, please watch the videos we made about the topic. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.